Hey YouTube fans, welcome to my channel. Happy almost 4th of July here in the US. I thought I would do something different. I hadn't done one of these in a while and I'm gonna do a reading for Scorpio on you and your person. So, here we go. I'm gonna pull some cards for you and then I'm gonna pull some cards for your person and I'm just getting the decks ready now because I know a lot of you like to see the shuffle. So, all right, so I'm gonna put these here and while I'm doing the other deck, uh, get my business out of the way. Thank y'all for being here. I value your time very much because I know we're all very busy people. Thank you so much. And if you hit that like button or subscribe, I am even more grateful because I'm just getting started here on YouTube and, you know, it can take a while. So all that matters. Thank you so very much. All right, one more shuffle here. I'm going to pull some cards. Let's see what's going on. And yes, I am a Scorpio and it's very hard for me to read for myself. So I don't know. This is the only way I, I can sometimes get a clue is when I do one of these readings because I can't, you know, it's just different. It's funny, y'all don't probably know that or I don't know, the readers talk about it much. It's very hard for us to read for ourselves. We do it fine for everybody else, but. <laughs> Ooh, all right, so, oh, I didn't say, this is your side, this is your person over here. All right, well, somebody's, oh my goodness gracious. Somebody's feeling very passionate about you. Your person definitely sees your worth. Now, a reminder, <clears throat> excuse me, that gender is not a thing in tarot. So if I say he, could be she, could be, you know, just be mindful that there is no gender in tarot. I just refer to who's on the card. Also, um, Feel free uh, to reverse these. I don't typically get them reversed, but if you feel like the stories are reversed, please do so. If the story doesn't fit, click off, y'all. Go find another reader who's picked up on your story. We all pick up on different bands of energy, so to speak. And so if it's not your story, please don't try, make it, try and force it to fit. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, let's see now. So, your person wants a new beginning with you. If you have broken up, it looks, and I'm only saying that because of <clears throat> the um, Eight of Cups means somebody wanting to return. Somebody walked away and now they want to return. Well, obviously they can't return if they hadn't been gone. So that's what makes me think there's a lot of uh, okay, so somebody wants a new beginning, passionate new beginning at that. Okay, let me double check, be sure y'all can see these cards. I just realized I had changed. Okay, yeah, yeah, and let me put this here so you can see that. All right, hopefully all that's on the camera. So they see you as the empress. This could also be two, two things here. This could be they see you as the empress. The empress is the embodiment of all four queens. It's the everything. It's the uh, passion. It's the creativity. It's the stability. You know, it's the communication. It's the love. It's the heart. It's all of that. So this could be that they see you and they want a new beginning with you because they realize who you are. I get the feeling that somebody's plans were thwarted, I always had to be careful when I say that word, um, they had plans that didn't work out, okay? Perhaps they were trying to make a choice because I've got two cards here. This is the crossroads. Well, when it's upright, somebody's at a crossroads. Somebody's making plans, trying to make a choice between two things. Both of these cards are in reverse. So, that could mean delayed plans. That could mean thwarted plans. It could also be somebody's done thinking about it and has made a decision. And that's where I'm leaning with this because it looks like your person, especially because the Ten of Cups is directly below the Ace of Wands here. This tells me somebody recognizes what their Ten of Cups is, what their happiness is. And they're finally, because that word just came out of my mouth, they finally 
are listening to their intuition. There were things that, okay, I'm mean, just tuning into the energy here. I think they didn't, they didn't listen to it before. I think they were ignoring it. I think they were just going about their life, probably working, trying to, maybe they were trying to forget about you, pouring themselves into work, and not listening to that, you know, quiet inner voice that is often the true voice. Instead, we listen to our ego and that gets us into trouble. <clears throat> so I feel like this, clearly this person loves you and they see you as someone who is full of love. But this is, you know, I ask how they feel about you or I ask about them and I'm seeing this as this is them. The Queen of Loves is, the Queen, excuse me, Queen of Cups has the most love to me that you can give in the tarot deck. And so to me, that's the embodiment of love there. So, all right, let me see what else is here. So they've been at a crossroads. I think they were in and out. I think there might have been a lack of commitment here. And I'll have to see what your cards say about you over here, how do you feel about this. But that is either coming to an end or, and it's kind of tricky reading the Knight of Wands in reverse. For um, <clears throat> It can mean somebody putting their play aways behind them if they were a player. It can also mean somebody very impulsive, like he's normally in and out, in and out. Okay, I'm going to tell you I love you and commit to you today and then be gone tomorrow. So when it's in reverse, it could mean someone even more impulsive and, you know, flighty in their energy. So it's really, <sighs> let me see here. I'm going to pull a card on that. I think I'll just pull another card on that because I, I want to be sure I'm not. I think that's what was in the past. I think this person was very flighty. Give me a card on this uh, Knight of Wands, please, Spirit. <clears throat> Give me a card on this Knight of Wands. That's what I'm, the energy I'm feeling is this person wouldn't commit to you. They were in and out. Here today, gone tomorrow sort of energy. Um, all right, one second, y'all. I'm also wanting to read... But what was, ah, okay, thank you, Spirit. All right, um, and I'll pull a card on it because I said I would. Yep, there it is. I don't even need to pull that. There it is. Look, Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups, can't make this stuff up. Tarot is amazing. So what I was looking at was how these cards relate to each other because that's important in a reading too. So what was hidden was that you are the Empress. What they weren't allowing themselves to see was that you are the empress and now and and also that they were you know being impulsive and not recognizing your worth but now they see your worth oh my goodness that's beautiful oh i'm loving that all right now let's see it let me make some room here because i'm running out of room to put your cards out here well, that's pretty special. Okay, let's go now and pull cards for you. What's going on with you? So you're wondering, isn't that interesting? You both got the two of wands, so you're mirroring each other. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think <laughs> Scorpio is saying, talk to the hand. <laughs> Oh, well, that's the energy I'm feeling. I, I don't have that card here, but that is the energy I'm feeling like. You took too freaking long. But, all right, let me scooch all these up. That's a real technical word, scooch. I think you're questioning if you want to put any more time and effort into this relationship. I think this person just took too long. They tested your patience. Um, <clears throat> you know, you're just like, I'm out of patience. I have no more to give. I, I'm just, you've worn me down. You have worn me down with your not being able to decide on this. And now I'm thinking, you know, yeah, I had plans with you too. I had dreams and, and wishes and <clears throat> you were my wish fulfillment at one time, but I don't see that happening. You took too darn long. There was all that you were in your ego 
your plan was to win at all cost. You didn't care who, you know, who you hurt along the way. <clears throat> and now I'm just, I just don't have any more strength to fight for this. You, you know, um, I am reaching clarity about how I feel about this. I've been confused about it for a long time. I was in my, here's the secondary message I'm getting here also about this Seven of Cups <clears throat> in the upright. Hang on if I can get them off the, okay, get them off the table here. This can be confusion, it can be options, it can be having many choices about what to do, I'm, or I'm confused, I don't know what to do. To me, the energy that's coming off this card though is... I had other choices. I could have had other choices. I could have played around too. I could have been in and out, but I didn't. I did not. I made you my only choice. You were my only choice, and I was clear about that, and I had clarity about that with you. You did not. And I think you're just out of patience with it, that you were keep, you kept hoping. You were patient for a long time. You kept hoping things would balance out. You kept hoping it, you know, maybe the divine would step in and you're feeling now that that hasn't been the case. <clears throat> but you, um, no but, you invested, you hoped this person, two messages, you invested in this person. I, I'm going to say that this is your person here, the emperor. But it turned out what you invested in was somebody who had a lot of ego and pride and they couldn't commit as you found out here or wouldn't commit in the past this was your dreams your wishes and dreams um you know we look up at the star every night and make uh, at the stars and we make wishes and sometimes it's a long time coming and i get the feeling that again i'm just coming back to that same message <clears throat> All you ever wanted was truth from this person. But I think when, every time they come in, I don't have the Seven of Swords here, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the energy that you didn't feel like they were telling you the truth. And you, you had, you love them, but in your heart, <clears throat> you felt like this person was too much in their ego and their pride and they were stubborn as heck and they just took too long. I know this... You have held out hope for a very long time. You have been patient, but I think you're at the end of that journey. Let's see what these other cards say here. You wanted truth. That's all you wanted was the truth. <coughs> yeah, you've had a lot of sleepless nights. This is anxiety. This is sleepless nights, um, fretting, worry, stress. Yeah, and, and I think... Two messages, either you feel like this is over with, maybe this, again, because I felt like this is probably a breakup because you're somebody's wanting to come back, that means you were, broke, you, you were broken up or apart in some way. So either you feel it's over with or you're about to put an end to it or you feel it should be over with. Maybe you feel like you just, uh, yeah. This person, I know these are your cards. Yeah, you, and I feel like, I'm just looking at your cards again over here. Why? Okay. Oh, hang on one minute. I'm, I'm looking at the relativity, <laughs> as you will, of the cards. One second. <clears throat> yeah, you, you wanted the truth, and all you got was anxiety. And I believe there's an element here of the reason your anxiety was what it was is because you didn't know if this this relationship was over or not. I think there's just been like this, you didn't get closure maybe. You, you feel like it's over, but you didn't get closure. There's a feeling like this dangling participle here somewhere. And you just said, well, if I can't, the truth is that my, I just may have to go on and put this anxiety behind me and create my own ending because... Clearly, you know, you're not going to make a choice. You're not going to choose me, or maybe could it be they chose somebody else. I don't have that card, but, or those cards. <clears throat> but now this is your, uh, this is your deck, your lovers. You're making a choice. 
or you did, or you're about to, but it's about a choice. This It's about a choice. And what I see here is you're saying, but I know that I will never have stability with this king, or I feel I will never have stability with this, this person over here. This king of pentacles is all about himself. He's greedy. He's selfish. <clears throat> Maybe um, you're worried about money either... You know, I was looking at other cards here. Maybe you're worried about, yeah, maybe money uh, not being right is a part of this equation. Too many secrets, things being held back, you're afraid. Yeah, you, are, you have fear about this person not being dependable. Even if they showed up today, you've got enough history this, with this person to make you question if they would ever be dependable. That's, that's what you're afraid of. And you're afraid of that because you, you put a lot of, this person was your, your wish fulfillment at one point, but now this card is in reverse. They were your wish fulfillment, but you feel like there's no point in hanging on now because there's no success. You're seeing no success here. But you did love them. You did love them and you still do, I think, have feelings for this person, to be honest. But they were in their player ways. They just wanted to, they just wanted to have a good time. They just wanted to come in and uh, bring you their wand, so to speak, and have a good time, and and they would leave. And so I feel like you've given up that there could be any transformation here. Although part of you, I think that we're back to that, um, the lovers, the choice. You don't really want it to end. You don't, maybe don't want to admit to yourself that it's over because you're missing this person. But at the same time, you're, you're having to look at, well, what about me? Where, where is my truth in this? Well, my truth is this person has shown me nothing but conflict. And uh, co there's been competition here, obviously, for their time and energy. Yeah, and you're just stuck in this hangman. It's like nobody's giving here. I feel like this person loves you. I feel like you love this person. Where is he? Where's that king? Yeah, I think you love this person too. But nobody's doing anything about it here. I, I need to find out, okay, yeah, there's no, that's, and that's the truth, King of Swords, and that's the truth. I'm gonna have to pull, I, I wasn't planning for this to be deep, but I gotta, I gotta ask, I gotta know why. Why is nothing happening here? Okay, hang on, I'm running out of room. Let me do this. Let me, I know y'all probably can't see that if I move that up there, but uh, you remember that was the Queen of Cups there on that side and the Ace of Swords over here. All right, I got to ask why. Why, Spirit? Why is nothing moving here? What's going on? If these two people love each other, why the heck can't they come together? I mean, I know that's some stubborn energy right there. And Scorpio, I will say... <laughs> this could also be reflecting your stubbornness too, but I, I will say, as a Scorpio myself, if we're that kind of stubborn, we have good reason to be. I'm just saying, we don't willy-nilly, uh, you know, put up a wall with people. We just don't. Okay, let me see what the heck is going on. <clears throat> well, uh, okay, okay. I'm going to pull some more. Well, I think <clears throat> you were pissed, and this person knows you're pissed because they treated you like an option or they treated you in a way that was not showing you, not uh, respectful of your true value. I think they're afraid now that they cannot um, approach you. I think that, yeah, I think you're both, this is, you know, <laughs> y'all are just mirroring each other. Uh, you're both up in your head. You're both up in your head about it. Uh, and there's the lovers in reverse again. Oh my gosh. Wow. Can't make this stuff up. So y'all are, everybody's at a crossroads here. There Again. Six of Wands in reverse again. Oh my goodness. Y'all are at this stalemate from hell here. Goodness gracious. All right. I'm just, I can't let this be a cliffhanger. I've got to know more. All right, Spirit, you've got to tell me. 
No, you, sorry, I shouldn't boss spirit around. I'll get smacked for that. <clears throat> there's been no success There's because there's a lack of collaboration here. There's a lack of coming together. There's no foundation here. There's nothing for you to build on because somebody got stabbed, somebody in the back, and I think we can guess who that is. This person, you feel stabbed in the back by this person, and now this person realizes they've done this to themselves. Yeah. <clears throat> And so while you both want to believe your ships are coming in, you both are kind of, I think, at a place where you're, you're, you're giving up the fight. You're giving up the fight. And there's apparently no reconciliation here. Um, yeah, and there, there has been a tower moment or there will be a tower moment. I want to put on this tower. Okay. Ooh, I'm running out of cards here. <clears throat> um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm feeling drawn to, yeah, I, okay, but before I go, I think this person wants to come in. I think they really want to come in, but this energy has been so slow moving. This is the slowest energy in the deck. Yeah, and they're afraid you're moving on. Uh-huh. They are afraid you're moving on. They want to come in. They so do, but here's the second slowest energy in the deck. They've been too freaking long. Here's a strength card again. They're, everybody in this situation is feeling worn down. They're just, you know, this could have been an issue over money. Uh, certainly a lack of stability. Now, this can also mean if you are in or were in a long-time relationship with this person, that this is not a happy home. Oh man, it just keeps telling the story that yeah, this you both have been unhappy or you were unhappy or I don't well, I don't want to go there. I don't see that. I want to know what this tower is. I'm going to ask what this tower is. Hang on. I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to shuffle these. What is this tower? Has this tower happened? Is this tower coming? Does this tower need to happen? I want to know, Spirit. Show me. What is this tower, please? What is this tower, please, Spirit? So, if you have broken up with this person because of how they treated you, then you probably have already experienced that was your tower moment. But for those... Um, it could be a tower on both sides. This person could have walked away from you. It could be. Now, did I shuffle two times? No, experience. One more? One more. Okay. Um, I just want to know, what is this tower? Inquiring minds want to know. I might have to get a bigger table. All right. All right, let me see. All right, now I'm going to turn that up because I do that. All right. Um, oh, Lord Scorpio. All right. I, I'm seeing it, but I'm going to pull. Same cards are coming out. Everybody's up in their head. This is a self-imposed mental prison. Y'all are overthinking this out the wazoo. Somebody needs to get single here or somebody is. That could have been what the tower, the tower is saying. Somebody was overthinking this. Somebody decided to get single or they refused to not be single. Oop, that was okay. Um, okay, all right. So somebody, I gotta, I gotta, oh, I knew it. I knew it, I could feel it. I don't know which one of you this is because I'm pulling this down the middle here. But y'all are obsessed with I'm going to say y'all because it seems to be a lot of mirroring energy here are obsessed with each other. That's the truth of it. <clears throat> also, there could be that this was, there's toxic energy here. That this person waited so long that your cup of love turned rancid and, and that it turned toxic, essentially. I mean, that's one way of interpreting this. This could also mean <clears throat> this news. This this can be disappointing news. It can be um, messages. It could be this person wants to message. You want to message. There needs to be communication here is what I'm feeling. There needs to be communication here. 
you need, guys need to talk about this love that you have for each other because otherwise you're, you're just both feeling here let me show you this the devil card it can mean a lot of things but it means restriction it means being held back and if you look at these people they have chains around their neck and all they can, they need to do to get free is take the chain off their neck and walk away but they're not doing it so you're not seeing clearly here you're overthinking it um, and this cup of love is turning toxic because because of that y'all need to I don't goodness me and at the bottom of the deck again now this is upright <sighs> yeah there needs to be collaboration here there needs to be communication and collaboration this can also as you hear readers say this uh, page of swords can also be somebody's spying on you somebody's checking on you you're probably looking at each other's social media there needs to be collaboration <clears throat> somebody could also be overindulging we know that the devil can be obsessive anything and the king of cups in reverse could also mean overindulging uh in things that are not good for you whether that's drink or whatever whatever <clears throat> and i feel like the secondary message here is there was not a good foundation because how do i say this one or both of you started this relationship i think it started sexually and somebody or both of you fell in love I really think that may be what this message is you didn't intend to fall in love whichever one of you this belongs to did not intend to fall in love but that's what happened it started sexually maybe egotistical it felt good it was passionate all those yummy things uh, but then somebody fell in love and now you're feeling like what did what happened here what happened here um, there needs to be a transformation here but uh, you know also I'm getting another message here or somebody needs to put an end you know again this card can mean marriage this can be marriage somebody needs to put an end to another relationship and if you look at here, hang on I need a bigger hand um, to me it could also mean <clears throat> excuse me this needs to end because somebody else's somebody was lying to you about being married these two cards somebody was lying to you about being married or in a, another commitment with someone else and that's why you've had to put an end to it or you need to put an end to it this person couldn't give to you equally because they were in another relationship and now this has come to light the truth of that has come to light Oh, but I think you still care about yeah I knew it I could feel that card underneath there you still feel like you're this person is your wish fulfillment or vice versa and you still miss each other and that therein is the conflict the conflict is I think somebody here is not free to to be in this relationship that's the bottom line whether now you know I don't have here the classic card of the third party but third parties can be a lot of things they can be somebody who's so committed to their job they can't make time for you it could be somebody has family commitments you know to parents or a, a child from somebody else or I mean you know they could be divorced and have children obligations with their children it can be so many things so it's not necessarily mean another person but use that as it applies or if not don't um just oh goodness that's your reading folks i hope that this brought some information to you but you know what for those of you who are patient i'm going to pull a couple of more cards here spirit tell me what these people should do Sh show me some advice here for these people because i feel like you guys both still care about each other deeply and yet nothing is happening what should these people do spirit give us some advice 
mm, mm, mm. what should these people do Scorpio I'm feeling it <clears throat> I'm feeling it with you <clears throat> excuse me all right <laughs> oh god are you kidding me we can't get rid of this card the four wands oh wow <clears throat> Let me see. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, Ace of Wands, four, okay, Queen of Wands. All right, let me, I'm gonna see what's, uh, I tell you the message I'm getting is, <clears throat> excuse me, believe it and you will see it. You guys have to start believing in it again. You have to start believing in the potential of this again. And I know that's all airy fairy. But I'm, I'm just telling you, that's the energy I'm getting off of that. Now, I'm going to look at the top of the deck. <sighs> Can't make this up. I was reading that energy correct. The judgment card, y'all. <clears throat> judgment can be reconciliation. So, Spirit is saying, this can be saved. This can be saved. Y'all have to put down these burdens, though. I think you're both hanging on to the past, what he did, what she did, you know, he said, she said, blaming each other, you know, somebody, you got to put this down to have a new beginning. I'm reading the energy right, yep. You got to let go of this past, all the hurt and pain, the blame game and all of that, to have this new beginning. Yeah, that's, and that's what it is. I'm going to hear, I'll, you have got to see this like I'm seeing it. And I know you can't with all these cards. I just got to make room. Hang on. I want you to see this. It's so beautiful. These cards are so awesome. Um, hang on. I know this is taking your time. I'll try to be fast. But I should have cleaned all that up. All right. All right. All right. All right. I want you to see this because I think it's a beautiful visual. All right. Let me get those. Now then, look at this. You can have judgment, but you have to put down the Ten of Wands, which is burdens, being weighed down with something in order to get to this Four of Wands. You're happy. Happy ending, relationship, family, home, uh, stability. I'm going to peek. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, stability, uh, money, prosperity, passion. You can, in other words, it's saying you can have everything you wanted. Passionate new beginning, but you have to let go of this Three of Swords. You both have got to let go of this past pain. Oh my God! And here we go again. And it came out again. To be able to move on. To be able to move on. Uh, and this is fast moving energy so this can happen and that is the truth that is the truth but you've got to start communicating you've got you know swords of communication you've got to start communicating you're holding on to your uh, to each other but you're also holding on to things of the past that need to be let go and if you do that you can have your your ten of pentacles yeah the star oh, i love it i love it i wish i'd left that card out now you can have your wish fulfillment. My God, look at this. You can have your wish fulfillment. You can have your Ten of Cups. And you can have your Ace of Cups. If you walk away from this past hurt and energy. Yes. That doesn't get clearer than that, y'all. I'm just saying. Yep. Walk away from this. Yeah, and, here, and I can go further. What are you walking away from? This potential ending. This, this you know, you can... It can, it's either, you're at that crossroads. It could be an ending if you choose it to be, but if you will put these uh, past hurts behind you, you can have success. First time this, we've had the six of wands in this reading several times, and it finally came up in the upright. You can have your six of wands and have justice, good Lord, isn't this beautiful? And what do you get? The lovers. But you have to get off of this being at a crossroads. Make up your mind what you want. Because I feel like July is a big month for Scorpios. I'm not an astrologer, but I have heard July is a big month for us. 
and I feel like you're going to be able to manifest pretty darn powerfully this month, Scorpios. So uh, let's be mindful of that. Get clear on what you want. If you want this person, then I would say um, it's possible. It's certainly possible to resurrect this, but you've got to put down this past stuff and stop uh, focusing on the past and look toward the future here. All right, I think that's a great message for us all, and I hope this helps somebody out there. I wish y'all many, many blessings, and please hit me hit the like button on your way out and subscribe if you like this. I do most commonly do readings for deceased loved ones, so I hope you'll check out my other playlist on that. I could be reading for your loved ones any day now. I never know who's going to come through. Um, but if you like this, please comment. Let me know uh, how this resonates with you or if it did at all. And I appreciate y'all being here. I value your time. Thanks again for watching. Take care.